So we've already talked about the metric system and the U.S. customary system and doing conversions within those systems and between them. Uh, but one other system of measurement, or actually there's a couple other systems of measurement you might encounter. Um, one is the household system. So we'll talk about that one in a minute, but that's like teaspoons, tablespoons, things you're used to using in your household. Uh, the other system that you don't see very often today is called the apothecary system. Um, and so the apothecary system um, is, ha, just has different, different way, it's just a different units of measure, just like the metric system or the U.S. customary system. Um, and so for liquid volume or volume, <coughs> in the apothecary system we use fluid ounce or fluid drams, and we abbreviate them just like we do in the U.S. customary system for ounces, fluid ounces is F-L-O-Z. And then fluid drams is FL and then DR, but often the flu FL, the fluid part, is dropped, um, and we just use the DR for dram. Because if we're talking about drams, we're definitely talking about volume. Whereas if we're talking about ounces, we could be talking about weight. And so that's the other type of measurement that you'll see in the apothe apothecary system is weight. So a grain um, is, relate, is similar to a gram, right? Uh, also a way, way to measure rate, weight. Um, so a gram is the basic uh, unit of weight in the apothecary system. The other thing that they do have is ounces and pounds, except for in the apothecary system, 16 ounces is a pound in the U.S. customary system, but in the apothecary system, it's 12 ounces is one pound. So a little, little bit different. Um, and it's kind of confusing because they have the same names as what we use in the U.S. customary system. But it's the apothecary system. It's just a little bit different. Uh, a couple things to note when we're using the apothecary system. Um, we use... Uh, fractions instead of decimals. So you shouldn't be writing your answers in decimals. They should be in fractions. Um, there is one fraction that actually has some symbols that are used instead of um, the actual fraction. So instead of writing a half, you will see the two letters SS. So if you see SS, that is a half. Um, the other thing you might encounter is sometimes the numbers, instead of being written as numbers, are written as no Roman numerals. Uh, the other thing that's a little bit different about the apothecary system is that the units of measure is written before the numerical value. So if you had 15 drams, you wouldn't write 15 dr, you would write dr15. So just a little kind of backwards from what we're used to. So just like um, with the metric system and the U.S. customary system that we've been working with, you can do conversions between the apothecary system within it or even to, into metric or, or something else. Um, so you just have to know those conversion factors, those equivalencies. So I have a little table um, that you can see we have some uh, you, you have a list of equivalencies, and we're going to use those and, and use dimensional analysis the same way that we've been using um, through, throughout this section. So let's give some exam an example a try. 